Well, good day, and um, thank you for joining me. This is a video, a little sort of video log on a boiler that we installed uh, sometime back in 2013. Um, and it has a couple of uh, unique things which some of you may find interesting. It is a Columbia boiler, and it uh, is designed to fire uh, power burners. And we have it firing as a gas-fired unit with a Carlin Easy Gas, older style Carlin. And got the cycle guard on it, service switch. Normally the uh, pressure control uh, is mounted here and we've moved the pressure control here and it's actually a vapor stat, the non-mercury type. And there is the low pressure gauge on there. It says 30, but that is 30 inches of water column. And that is the 30-pound um, gauge as required by, by code. And uh, so what we do is we remove the gauge here and blow into here to make sure that's cleared. And the same thing here. We remove this to make sure this is cleared. And we've got it above, um, significantly above the water level. So it's not the, this pigtail is not likely to clog. Uh, the chimney was relined. Um, at or around the same time as the uh, new boiler went in. It was an old American standard atmosphere that had failed. And um, we've got here the barometric for gas and uh, the blocked flue with the sensor there. It's usual. Uh, the cowling removed. The uh, Columbia boilers like to put uh, the boiler drain uh, behind this cover here um, and we've got another drain back there because there's no no such thing as too many drains that pretty much is the extent of the wet return and uh, we were piping these things uh, with a lot more copper than we are nowadays so this is the equalizer line and the, uh, the Harford loop there. And we got two drips uh, going into the uh, <laughs> wet return. And of course, there is a drain there. There's, of course, the gas line and so forth. And what we have, you know, we have two outlets, two two inch outlets, and we have installed them using the drop header technique. Uh, they're going into a three inch header. Uh, the red stuff is uh, our TV silicone high temperature. We were using that back in the day um, to uh, reduce leaks. We found that that was a little bit of overkill, so we're no longer using that technique. And we're bringing it around, and this is the, as I said, this is the equalizer line here. We used up some of our cast iron fittings and uh, pretty much stopped, stopped using them um, after, after getting them out of our inventory. And we have a three inch takeoff. Oh, sorry about that. Three inch takeoff. And it is going into there. And the customer has insulated and we have two takeoffs and one is going this way. And let's go ahead and follow this one out. Got a real headbanger there and we'll continue around through there. And that's the final end of this main. And we have two Gorton number twos. Looks like it did leak a little at some point, but it's stopped now. There was no evidence of a leak now when we ran the system. Uh, so that's good. 
And let's go back. Let's follow this line here. Goes through there. Let's go through. No, oh, there we are. Watch that last step. And it comes along here. And comes along here. And there's our Gorton number two. And it heads off to a couple of radiators there. So what is to be... So this is... There's no wet return of any consequence except at the boiler as a shawl. And that was, that was copper. So this is parallel... Uh, excuse me counterflow and that the steam is going this way and any condensate generated is flowing back towards the, the boiler and this is the dry return because this is or at least started out life in the early very early part of, of last century the 20th century as a brunel system and they got a couple of sections there that have been replaced that was copper i think that was done by others that seems to be working reasonably well uh so let's go around uh, pardon the thank you for sticking with me i'm pretty much a lost half of you by now um so this is the so the steam is going this way and this way, and the condensate is running back down, and then this is a drip. And that's heading back down there. So the dry return, oh, let me get you better, step in a better position here. This jungle gym back here. So the dry return, um, the air and the water is coming along here, is vented through there, and this is standing guard in case steam gets into this pipe and this will shut, and then the water returns that way. So those are the two drips. This is the main drip for the dry return, and this is the drip from the um, steam mains. We have our VXT hooked up, main shutoff, backflow preventer, manual feed, um, electronic feed, and there is the uh, return back to the boiler, and there is the uh, skim tapping back there, inconveniently <laughs> located. And let's see. Um, so the Rumel was designed to operate not in a vacuum, but very low pressure. So we've got this thing set at about uh, four ounces. Um, it might reach that uh, on, a, on a fairly long burn of the shoulder seasons. But this is what we've got. This is our unit here. We're coming up on nine minutes now. Thank you. I wanted to also share with, with some of you uh, who were um, wanted to know and so uh, the amp draw on one of these guys, I apologize for the hard to read the scale, but that's in the six amp scale. And I've got this looped around. So when this runs, um, it's drawing about 1.3 amps. That's how I was able to do it. Right now it's on standby and the number of amps being drawn is negligible, not measurable by that scale. Probably if I had a... Uh, more sensitive scale, this might actually, you can see here the uh, cycle guard is cycling away, um, even though it's not uh, calling for heat. And this is our drain. It's working well. We have spent a fair amount of time uh, flushing this uh, from a leftover um, bilge and uh, um, swill and I got got it fairly clean and it's running fairly quietly 
Uh, this thing is a Carlin easy gas, so it tends to be a little bit uh, noisier than the props uh, we would like. But the VXT was only showing 40 after eight years, which is not that bad. So I thank you very much for... Oh, and also, of course, we got it up on block. Um, I thank you very much for joining me. I hope this was interesting. Or, um, and uh, always uh, try to answer your questions uh, and um, your concerns. Thank you again. Take care and stay healthy.